Okay guys, welcome back. What we're going to do today will be a cock coaster, right? So first of all, I'm going to put the logo at the back of this uh, cock coaster. And um, I'm going to use the D1 Pro today. Okay, and the XAS 2.0. So I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to find a center because the logo I'm going to put in the center of this uh, cock. So actually, how are we going to... Uh, find the center of it by using a finder a center finder all right so this file actually has been um, put into the download section for some time i guess uh, you can be able to look into it and where to actually you can download it and actually how are we going to make full use of this finder all right so first of all there is a groove down here so there's actually two pieces i cut two pieces up okay two layers Right, the first of all, because we need to find the center, all right. So basically, this piece down here, okay. So we actually put the this the circle cock coaster right at the edge of this part down here, all right. And we make a little mark, okay. We may be able to put a little mark down here, okay. And we rotate it. Okay, so we rotate it. So where the intersection actually crosses, there is the center point. Okay, so this is the center point. I hope you guys can be able to look at it. So this is the center point. So when we actually use our D1 Pro, and I will actually show you how it's being done, all right, on the XCS screen, all right. Okay, back on to the XCS 2.0 screen. Okay, I'll just do a little recap. This is a D1 Pro 20 watt. Okay, I'm as earlier I said that I'm gonna do a logo on to the circular coaster. They are actually cock, right? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna copy and paste my logo, right? So I'm gonna zoom it in. There's a shortcut key is you can press the control and use your mouse to be able to zoom it. Okay. So, okay, so this is the shortcut key. Alright, the the size of this is 30 mm by 30 mm. I would like to go with 40. Okay, so instead of previously it was right at the top, so now it's moved to the right. So it's 40 enter and it was actually there okay so it's the size is 40 right and um i'm going to go into the okay this is the engrave all right i'm going to find the settings for this cork um parameters all right so i will come into the object down here okay so the materials Okay, and I go into more from the more screen. Okay, so this is the access website. So I will type in cork. O -R -K. Okay, there is a desktop pad. Okay, so this is the one. Okay, it applies to D1 Pro, D1 Pro 2.0. So click that. Okay, so the D1 Pro 20 watt, the power is 30%. Speed is 80 millimeter per second. So this is the score function. So because I'm going to engrave it, so I can select the engrave or image uh, engrave, bitmap. Okay, so I click into the engrave and I will actually open in XCS so that it actually automatically applies to my logo. Okay, so you go parameter set use successfully. So it's being set up, okay. And on top of this, I'm going to show you they are really integrated. The program actually have been integrated with um, what are the functions that you're going to go. Okay, so I'm going to go into the text down here. Okay, I select the text on the left. So I just click here and I reduce the size to 20. Okay. Okay, so this is the one. Okay, so I double click. And let's do 
with demons. Okay, so I may need to actually align it, but they are not important. I'm what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap the complements around my logo. So you can see there is a little tab down here. Just drag it down. Okay, and you can be able to align. Okay, align it. Okay, so we actually select the whole thing. Alright, we will come to this icon down here, the line. Okay, we actually have to horizontally align the center. Okay, so it's being aligned perfectly right now. Okay, so the next thing what we're going to do will be, okay, I'm going to show you a little trick down here. Just now, as you remember, the logo actually has been 30%. Okay, so the logo is 30%, the speed is 250 millimeter per second. But on to the score, the score has been set to 30% power and 80 millimeter per second. So it doesn't really matter because we already selected the material because it's a material as a cork. So anything which are score, it will automatically set the parameters to be 80 millimeter per second. Okay. So and the engraved part will be 250 millimeter per second. You can actually confirm by clicking the Z set down here. All right. So they are how it is. Okay. And um, if you would like to get a finer images, so you can actually change the lines per cm, okay, to anything which are above hundred, because at hundred they are just defaults. So I'm going to set it at hundred and forty, okay, and we will go into the laser bit, okay. The next thing what I'm going to do, I'm going to close this and I'm going to go into process. To do will be I am going to do the framing okay so I already enabled my laser spot okay so I changed the power to 1% all right and the origin okay the origin I'm going to this is going to be very important step okay the origin I'm going to set in at the center down here so when I actually uh, going to do the framing I'm going to put my laser spot at the center of the cock all right so i go into framing okay i will go out basically i will show you on the laser bit okay back onto the laser bit all right first thing first we need to adjust the height of the laser module you pull down the kickstand make sure that the kickstand is in contact with the cock all right so to make sure that you are in focus so the next thing, since I already put my laser spot, I'm going to put the laser spot onto the little dot down here as a center. Alright, so let's see. Alright, that's about it. Okay, so next thing it is in the center, I'm going to press the power button to make sure to look at the framing. Okay, so again, okay, so it's done on the framing. So I'm going to go in the XCS and we will start the engraving. Okay, so right now it's in the progress. Okay, the speed is actually 30% power and for the engraving is 250 millimeter per second, right? Okay, so it's done. We will take a look. I move my laser module away and we'll take a look. Okay, so it's pretty neat. Okay, the score is 30%, 80 millimeter per second on the score. And the engraving is 30% power and 250 millimeter per second. So I'm running this at 140 or 160 lines per cm. So there you go. Okay, I'm pretty happy with this. Okay, so I'll see you in the next one.